For more on the shortage of medical supplies like ventilators and masks, respirators and gowns, let's bring in Dr. Jen Cottle, family physician and associate professor at Rowan University School of Medicine. Uh, Dr. Cottle, we're waiting to hear from the White House. That's going to begin any minute now. In fact, it might interrupt our conversation. But what would you like to hear them say about the, um, the treatment of the coronavirus right now? Uh, there's a number of things. I need uh, myself and my colleagues to have more uh, personal protective equipment. That's PPE. We are hearing that there's going to be more ventilators rolled out, which is not PPE. That's certainly uh, diagnostic and treatment. Uh, we need ventilators on that side. We do need swabs, test kits, things like that. That's to diagnose and treat. Uh, but we also need PPE. That's to keep me and my colleagues safe. We need gowns. We need masks. We need gloves. We need face shields. We need N95 respirators and not the idea of making them at home for ourselves. We need real ones uh, to stay safe. I want my colleagues to have that stuff ASAP. We needed that yesterday. So that's one of the biggest things that I wanna say. And in addition, I mentioned before earlier, this idea of we need more ventilators, we, more, we need more hospital beds, we need more resources um, to be able to treat patients with coronavirus. And for folks in the general public who may have, you know, gotten on, I don't know, Amazon and ordered a, an N95 mask or something like that, um, yeah. it is that kind of hoarding, if you will, that, that's causing a problem in part for the medical professionals. It is. I mean, look, I've been talking about this on the news ever since coronavirus came out. We've been saying for months, guys, you don't need to wear a mask unless you're sick yourself or that you're taking care of someone who else is sick. Obviously, if you're a healthcare worker, you need a mask, but we've been saying it for months. Don't hoard these things. Don't buy them out on Amazon. And the truth of the matter is, I feel like that's largely what has happened. Um, there are some resources out there that I've been seeing online. Doctors have reposted on Twitter and Facebook resources for patients and organizations to donate masks that are unused and things like that. I would suggest people take a look at them and investigate. Um, but this is exactly why we said, Please don't go out, number one, and wear a mask when you don't need them, but don't go out and buy out the whole stockpile because we need them to treat you and everyone else who may need to be treated. Let's talk about ventilators for a second. It's, it's not a common item, and most Americans aren't uh, exactly con um, you know, conversant with exactly what we're talking about here. When the White House is saying that automakers might start cranking out ventilators, exactly what does a ventilator do and, and you know, what, what kind of machine are we talking about here? That's great. That's a great question. I think it's really important to go back to basics and to, to help everyone understand what we're really talking about. A ventilator generally is a life-saving device. A ventilator does just that. It helps ventilate the body and the lungs. It helps a person breathe who can't breathe on their own and get oxygen to all of their tissues, which is, as we know, it, it, it's, it's crucial to survival. So that's why ventilators are so particularly important. It should also tell us the fact that we are anticipating, uh, fearing, uh, hoping that we don't need all these ventilators, but suspecting that we do, is that we also concerned about severe illness. When you need a ventilator, it means that you're pretty sick. Um, most people who go to the hospital or who are sick don't need ventilators. Obviously, this is a patient who is very sick. Uh, so we do need them uh, for, for patients and for doctors to be able to take care of patients. Dr. Jen Cottle, Rowan University Medical School, thanks very much for your expertise. We Thank appreciate you. it.